Marja, everybody. My name is Bernice Kapashisa. Wache, I'm Virginia Barter. As co-chair of the More Than 350 Planning Committee, we are pleased to invite you to participate in the commemorative events and activities we are planning for the next year. June 2023 will mark 350 years since Moose Factory was established, but the focus of our commemoration is the history and heritage that is more than 350 years in the making and extends well beyond Moose Factory Island. On March 7, 2023, the Migasui Besom will be full, marking the beginning of Siguan, the first season in the Omeshkego lunar calendar. On this date, an opening ceremony will launch the year-long celebrations of more than 350 years in the making, Moose Factory in Omeshkego Aski from time immemorial to 1673 to 2023. The celebrations will continue past sequin, springtime, into meliskamen, blooming time, nipin, summer, the Quagan, Autumn, Mikiska, Freeze Up, and Bipon, Winter, finishing with a closing ceremony on February 23rd, 2024, the last day of the Gishe Bisam Great Moon Lunar Cycle. Throughout these six seasons, we are planning events and land based activities that include music, art, culture, language, sport, history, and heritage. Our goal is not only to celebrate and commemorate a living history, but also to promote and support holistic community development founded on principles such as Milo Bimatsuan and Shawinchi Kewin. Shawinchi Kewin is our more than 350 motto. Proposed by committee member Greg Spence, this Cree term translates as receiving with gratitude and a desire to give back, reciprocity, sharing, generosity, hospitality, honoring, and gratitude. It appears in Cree syllabics on our new logo created by Jerry McComb. Moose River Heritage and Hospitality Association is working with its co-founding jurisdictional members, Moose Cree First Nation, Mokerbeck Ewood Council and the Town of Musini, as well as individuals, organizations, and partners in and beyond our region. We are partnering with other community events and initiatives such as Moose Cree First Nations Gathering of Our People, Muskegua Council's Cree Fest, and the Winnipeg Aboriginal Film Festival. For more details on our plans, consult our webpage at www.mrhha.ca slash more than 350. You can help make the More Than 350 initiative a success. Please consider joining us with your ideas, events, initiatives, programs, input, talents, vision, and resources. We also invite local and regional organizations to appoint a representative to our planning committee or one of our subcommittees. For more information or to get involved, please contact the MRHHA Community Coordinator, Lori Sutherland, at Lori Sutherland at MRHHA.ca or by phone 705-221. 7198. Miigwech, thank you for considering our invitation. Miigwech, wache. Wache, Miss Way. Well, that was fun. Where's Cecil? Do you, what happened to Cecil? I have no idea. Thought he was here somewhere. Is that what you, Cecil? Yeah, and I'm in the canoe. canoe. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? Always goofing around. Hey, Bernice, this is a great looking photograph. What, mm -hmm. what What's this from? Can you tell me about it? Wow, that is quite the gathering for sure. This was back in 
1973 in August, and it was during the tricentennial um, celebrations and activities. Fantastic. I hope we can get that many people out <laughs> for our Yeah, session. for sure. And this is a, this is a canoe brigade. It's symbolic of, you know, the delivery of supplies and things like that uh, uh, way back uh, when our ancestors were doing that. Mm -hmm. Great. And are we going to do that for this, for our celebration? We are certainly going to be trying to get that arranged for sure. I think that's important. It's, it's important. Great. Well, I want to be in the canoe. Yeah. <laughs> so do I. Yeah. So we need volunteers, right? Volunteers for the canoe. Yeah. Speaking of volunteers, where's Cecil? Where is he? Over here in the canoe. Come join there me. There he is. <laughs> hey, can we join you in the canoe? Sure. Come on in. Yay! Woo. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, Bernice. Okay, okay, I'm coming. <laughs> Woo. Watch it. Watch it. One way. We'll see you. From my ancestors, I'm packing my old Daba nest. This is my traditional outfit for my snowshoe ceremony. I'm putting on my snowshoes for the first time. Snowshoeing on the land of my ancestors in Wabraska. I feel close to nature. This is what being in a new means to me. <laughs> What oh, 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 oh
The gathering of our people in Crefest in August 2023 in the International Knowledge Keeper Conference in September 2023. Then the completed hoods would be displayed locally in Musini and Moose Factory. Looking forward to seeing you all there. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye. Hello, my name is Jennifer Carey Cool, and I'm from Moose Factory, Ontario. Um, I'm co-chairing this uh, 12 Apostle, 12 Days of Christmas campaign with Jane Scanlon. Um, our hope is to restore the historical site of the St. Thomas Church of Moose Factory, Ontario. Um, this church has a long, long history um, with our community, uh, along with the grave site that's involved with the, uh, the church. Um, it's been sitting there for generations and generations. Uh, many people married in this church. Many people, you know, laid a rest at, at the, the burial site of the St. Thomas Anglican Church. Many memories for many families that have been, um, you know, um, growing up in Moose Factory, Ontario. Um, one of the reasons that I be became involved with this project is I've often gone to the church um, to visit family members that have passed on. And my uncle, Oliver Chum, you know, for many years stayed and uh, maintained the graveyard. He's passed on now as well. My parents are there, all of my brothers, many aunts and uncles. My mom was part of the uh, ACW for many years with the Anglican Church. Her name was Barbara Carey, you know, um, and um, her husband, James Carey, was part of the uh, Anglican Church as well. They are uh, both in the burial site with Moose Factory along with my grandparents, Walter Chum, you know, Jane Ferries Chum, Annie Smallboy, and uh, George Carey. Um, there's there's so many, so many of us that have uh, been part of this church for many years with so many memories. And our hope is to restore this church and, and the site where we can, you know, have a beautiful place to go back to and, and go and visit and make sure that, uh, you know, we, we, have that history that comes with it. The main thing is the history. Like I said, there's so many good memories. I've gone to weddings there for my sisters, you know, my brothers, along with um, many family members. And I'm hoping one day that we raise enough funds to restore it into a site where we could go back and visit. And um, I hope that we get donations and more people that take an interest in this project and um, like many families from Moose Factory, I come from a large, large family, and I'm hoping that, uh, you know, we, we, we take that pride in um, looking after that site, uh, that especially the grave site with me, because, like I said, there's, there's so much history to it. And, um, you know, I, I'm really reaching out and hoping that people will take part and send some do donations in. Thank you.